Welcome to Art with Liz. Today we're going to be working on some still life paper flowers. A still life is a work of art that shows commonplace objects such as flowers, plants, and vases. Sometimes they show food, rocks, and even animals. A still life is a very popular painting for artists because it allows the artist to control the different items and the lighting. Still lives are still one of the most popular forms of artwork to paint. All right, let's check out what supplies we're gonna need for our project. First, we're gonna need a dark piece of construction paper. I'm using black, but you can choose whatever you like. You're gonna need some decorative paper, some scissors and a glue stick, uh, a white crayon, and you're gonna need some tissue paper squares. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's start with our decorative paper. If you don't have any decorative paper, you can make your own. Just grab some plain white paper and some markers or crayons and decorate them yourself. Then we need to cut it into strips just like this. Okay, grab your construction paper and your decorative strips. You're also gonna need your glue stick. Put the glue on the back of the decorative paper. These are gonna be the stems of the flower. So once you get the glue on there, stick it on your paper like you would have a bunch of flowers stuck together. Once all your flower stems are on, grab your white crayon. We're gonna use the crayon to make a, our vase that's holding all of our flowers. Your vase can look however you like it. All right, now we're gonna add our flowers. So take your glue stick and add a bit of glue at the end of the flower stem. You're gonna grab a piece of tissue paper and crumple it up a little bit and smush it on that glue. You can add some more glue to the center of that piece of tissue paper and add a second color. This is just gonna add more dimension and color to your picture. Now you just wanna finish adding the flowers to all the stems on your vase. Once all your flowers are on the vase, you can decide if you need more. I think I need two more stems in here. So I'm gonna grab my decorative paper and my glue and glue two more stems on. Next, I'm also going to add flowers to those stems. Great, our still life paper flowers are all finished. I really hope you enjoyed the project today and hope to see you again soon.